Right, hello there guys. Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the Boy Acoustica Mechanical Keyboards as you can see in front of me in their blue purple colour. Okay, so let's get into the review right away. So as you can see right in front of me is the keyboard itself and the contents that are in, that were in the box. So first we get the keyboard in the box, as you can see here, we get a nice wire keycap puller, great addition. Um, this keycap puller will not ruin your keycaps by, um, by making the edges all rough and crispy and make them nice smooth and soft like like a uh, something that's smooth and soft uh, uh, I don't know um, also in the box included are uh, is a spare space bar key and a escape key um, reason I include this is just in case you do not like the highlight keys that they have here so you can see a purple escape key and a purple space bar so just in case you don't like the highlight keys they do allow you to change it with these um, and then also in the box included is a nice long That's what she said. <laughs> so I also forgot to mention they include a user manual which shows all the RGB functionality and how to use the function key in the bottom right to access the function row that you'd normally have on a 100% keyboard or a 80% keyboard right um, so right now we're going to be talking about the uh, build quality and the um, the overall aesthetics of the keyboard. Okay, so the keyboard itself is housed in a plastic um, plastic shell, uh, very very stiff, uh, minimal deck flex. Let's zoom up a little bit. So there is minimal deck flex uh, moving the keyboard, so that's always a really good feature. Um, so it's going to be nice, tough, and strong. Um, the key the keycaps on the keyboard are double shot PBT, so they're very good quality. Uh, They'll be they're very resistant to uh, quite prolonged uses, so it's always a plus. Uh, legend on the keyboard is very clear. It's not like one of them gamer keyboards um, legends where it's like all blocked off and stuff. This is like proper writing, and you can see it like from any angle you look at. It is very clearly um, clearly done. Um, the letters themselves have uh, like shine through for the RGB uh, with the backlighting feature they have. Um, so let's go to the uh, rear of the keyboard. So we can see here, you've got their logo, and then you've got the Type-C cable that the keyboard plugs into. Um, and then right on the back here, we can see the uh, pull-out feet and anti-slip pads, as well as their logo embossed in on a metal plate stuck behind the keyboard. So the feet on the keyboard have two levels of uh, height, so they have little baby and then uh, chonker as I'd like to say just because the plastic on there is quite thick um, so dependent on your preferred way of typing uh, and elevation of your wrists um, they can accommodate for that as well as that you can just use the board without having any elevation as there is always a slight elevation on these boards so the PCB is housed in the plastic casing by having first the casing itself then a cotton bottom uh, layer which then the PCB is placed on top of, which then another cotton layer is placed on top of, which then a mid plate is placed on top of, which then the key, the um, the key switches and the stabs are placed on top of, which then the keycaps are put on top of. There's a lot of put on top of here, but the whole reason they have two layers of uh, cotton layering is to dampen the acoustics and make the keyboard sound like with a nice thock, a nice thick thock. Let's plug the keyboard in and see how it does with the RGB shine through. Uh, yeah, shine through is the word. Right, okay, so considering that I have uh, lighting up at the top here and the sun coming through on my left through my window, um, the RGB on this keyboard is quite bright, which I love. Um, it shines through very vibrantly um, through, the, uh, through the legend and through the um, back of the keycaps. It's very uh, bright and vibrant, as I just said. Um, there's no like hotspots or anything. I guess they are LEDs, so there wouldn't be chance of any hotspots but yeah it looks very beautiful um if i may say um there are 10 um rgb functions that you can have on this keyboard um so if we just open the manual up quickly um i think we're the last page yeah okay so if we look here there are 10 um rgb modes that you can use uh, by pressing the function key the alt key and the t key so i'll just cycle through a couple of them so you can see how they look uh, so there we have the first one. So this is like a breathing kind of effect that's going on right now. That's actually just the feet that they include. Um, so you can actually see it better. 
Um, we'll do it again. It's like another breathing effect of changing color. Uh, then we have like a raining, raining effect. Um, then we have a uh, pinwheel effect. So you know on Macs whenever there's like your computer slowed down and it doesn't know what to do. There's like a pinwheel. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, if you don't know what the pinwheel I'm talking about is, it'll be put up on screen, like in my hands right now. Um, so yeah, uh, the next one is just a solid color. Uh, then you have a random kind of wave effect going on like that. Um, then I believe this is, okay, this is snake. So basically the keyboard catches up with itself each time going uh, left to right. Um, exciting for all the colors. Uh, then we have individual key light up. So that means if I press like just the keys, they light up individually. Pretty simple. Uh, then we have row light up. So whenever you press a key on the row, that row will light up. Uh, then we have random. So we have row light up with um, some offshoots. I don't know like what to call it as such, but that's there. Uh, then we have key presses. So if you press more than one key, or if you press the key several times, um, so if I press the key several times, the first three rows light up. If I press several keys at once, the whole keyboard light up by itself. Uh, then we have just uh, area effect, so an AOE kind of design, which I, I like this, it's pretty cool. And then we just have color lighting. It has the AOE, but it's the whole keyboard instead. So then we're just back to normal. So let's go back into the, um, the other part of the video that I'm filming. See you there. Right, I'm still typing test on this keyboard for you guys so you can hear the, the new switches and the acoustics of the, um, the keyboard. Right, um, so as I put this video to a close, I'm editing up right now, um, I would like to thank you guys for watching the video, and a huge thank you to Boy for sending out a keyboard for me to review again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Um, I'm sorry if you seemed a little bit rushed. Um, I had like a, uh, less than 12 hours to complete the whole video, film it and shoot it uh, for them. So I'm sorry if it was a bit like dodgy in some places and if like it kept jump cutting everywhere. But I thank you for staying till the end if you are here and taking the time to watch the video. So I hope you guys have a good one and the link to the keyboard will as always be in the description down below. Thank you for watching.